movies now when you watch them like when you watch super bad mm-hmm. or or you know uh knocked up or something it's not like the jokes they do in that movie are are some of them are kind of you know they're not particularly uh good for the time even you know 10 years 15 years or, later or um a better example would be the warriors where um oh, i forget his character but one of them is like oh the big what? tough guy right. like oh what are you faggot like yeah he goes into saying that and that's like one of those movies like it's a cult classic but that's just like dude it's funny yeah, when you when, calling somebody when you like watch that. it and you're, you hear that you're like whoa what you're like, going like, that kind of st- but they 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 uh, they say some heavy stuff in there too when they uh, when that girl joins them yeah, and he's like, like oh, maybe maybe we'll, we'll just train on we'll you. We're trying to train on you. You might enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. just like, I have oh, the big God. one. And then one of them is like, I have the big one. And then I'm like, oh, damn. But I mean, that's from I mean, that's a, an example of like what that era was like at the time, you know, mm-hmm. and. Um, and what the era was like in the in the in the late nineties, or what you could get away with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it kind of, it, you know, the late nineties. Some of us, Jerry Springer was on top, bro. Let's just say that. I'll I'll leave it at that. <laughs> that that being said, I I I'd probably give the same rating. So like a B minus C plus. Yeah. Up there, but not good enough. <laughs> What about you? Uh, I give it a C plus, okay. um, just simply because, and uh, and again, um, some of the story didn't add up, and some of the stuff was just more. I I, I think I wanted to know. I wanted to have a really good backstory to this. It was just, or even have a flashback to what happened, would have been nice. Uh, but at the time, I mean, but John Carpenter doesn't do that shit. So. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like, it, it's it's a lot to ask. But uh, with that being said, the stuff, every, everything else was pretty fun, man. I, I would, I would, I'm probably going to go home and watch it again. So, yeah. I, I, was re- I really liked the, uh, the, not explosions, but when they kind of, when the vampires kind of combusted yeah. in the sun. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. Because uh, they didn't do CGI. <laughs> yeah, there was, was real people getting their arms, like blown up basically i love the fact that when like like those vampires at the end like instead of like you know how like the um when they, in the beginning of the movie when they start taking out vampires it's like usually like an orange or whatever like a your orange yellow but these last ones that were getting burnt were like this bright red like yeah. really ruby red i was oh my god that 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 the fact that like they that attention to uh, detail was was in there, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, all right, like I see, I see where you are going with this. I love it. All right, cool. Those are really cool. I just yeah. wanted to point that out. Yeah, really like that as that whole, all the scenes of them kind of blowing up it was really cool. Yeah, well, because um, we open the movie and we go right into them. Basically, we meet the Slayers, Mm -hmm. the team of the elite Slayers, and uh, they—that's how we kind of get to know them. Is they do basically um, kill an entire uh, nest, as they call it, an abandoned house full of uh, vampires sleeping because it's during the day, you know. And they kill about nine vampires, but they don't find um, the master. Master. And you can tell uh, Jack's character is very uneasy about that. Yeah, because the whole time he's saying, "Oh, this is a setup." This is yeah, like where's the master? This mm-hmm. makes no sense. Like it, he he's got to be around here somewhere, and it was because, of course, they were set up. Yeah, his team was slaughtered, and uh, basically, you know, you find out that um, later on in the about in the middle mark of the movie that uh, Valak, the um, the main villain vampire, is basically like the original vampire. Yeah. Who was actually basically he started off as a priest and he turned against the church and basically turned a bunch of other people against the church and, and, right? and, and was um, later burned at the stake, mm-hmm. you know, for his um, basically turning against them. Uh, and I guess something had happened where he had uh, an exorcism cast on him where he could basically 
Um, the reverse exorcism. Yes, where his uh, his body was how they said it, uh, basically a vessel. Like his body is dead, but he's still alive, mm-hmm. which is basically the first case supposedly of vampirism. And when they uh, bury, you know, they burn him alive, and when they buried the body, and then they dug him up to see if he was still there, he was gone. Because yeah. they were and, saying there were rumors going around that he was walking out at night. Mm-hmm. 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 Which and, and this is like a plot flow. I, I feel where he gets okay. He, we, we get the we get the um, payoff right where he dies. So and then there's still vampires around like yeah what, like because I mean you're, you're talking about like the the standard like trope of like, yeah, like, like you oh, kill you like kill the head vampire yeah. everyone else yeah. well, either dies or or goes yeah. back to being normal. Yeah. They they say that in the movie where um, you can if you if you kill the master before the person that he's bitten has turned all the way they will reverse that's, that's a theory right Cause, that's uh, the, that's what that's montoya. their mythology in this yeah. movie yeah montoya says like he's not really sure but he to, and he says like i think you know like to I, katrina yeah yeah he says um if we get to him and slay him before you turn then you should be fine but i'm not sure you know, that's the mythology in this. But that's the beauty of subgenres like this is there's no real clear answers. It's yeah. all speculation and what you think, right? I, I want to say how weird it was it that uh, his name is Montoya, right? Uh huh. How he was like, I don't know, to me it kind of felt, uh, seemed a little sexual or something when after she had bitten him the first time on his, uh, the, the second time, I guess, after she gets free in the car mm-hmm. and then he, she bites him. And then she kind of pulls back, and he looks at her, and then he, and then you know, they kind of lock eyes, and then he grabs her hair, and he like lets her do it, lets again. her like finish him off basically, and you know, bite him again on the neck, and he's kind of just like, oh, and then kind of just passes out instead of killing her, yeah. or doing it or something, or like trying to fight her off. He was kind of just like, yeah, go ahead, take me. I think he already knew he was. She, she had already bit him. Yeah. So he was already done. Yeah. Dunzo, you know, in a way. Um, And I don't know if you know this, uh, did he really, I, I know the fire was real, but when he was burning his arm, did he really burn himself? So uh, maybe, 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 uh, maybe that was a prosthetic. I don't know. Yeah, like they the didn't lighter, say anything. Then he put his arm, he puts his arm out and burns the bite. I'm assuming maybe they, they, they that would have been easy to put some makeup. Just put something over it uh-huh. to cover. Yeah. It looks pretty brutal, though. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, my, he, he's smart. I was watching it, I was like, "Oh shit!" And even when he shoots that gun, and he's like, and then he, bur- he burns his uh, burns his neck. <laughs> yeah. It's very vicious looking. But yeah. um, like I said, that was smart because he's cauterizing uh, the wound, right? Yeah. Which is cool. He's like, I may be a vampire, but this shit ain't getting infected, son. <laughs> no. He's like, Put, "Where's the cayenne pepper at?" Hold on. <laughs> um. I want to give a shout out to Gary B. Gibbs, um, cinematographer, because that the the this was uh, gor- gorgeously shot. Yeah. And, you know, from start to finish, it's pretty masterful, in my opinion. And I love uh, those sunset sunrises, those were yeah, really the colors. amazing. Those did you, that orange did red. You see the way they like in, you know when uh, he when Valak comes up and he has the seven or nine um, master vampires with Behind him. him huh? They have like some type of film or something or filter over the, uh, the top of the camera. I would assume because just the top of the sky is like pink, yeah. or orange filter. Or filter, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. And then they get up. But I mean, I thought that was a really cool little um, technique or trick that they whoever you know did that. They, oh, that they really, really love cool. their vanilla skies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. And then uh, it was complemented with um, Carpenter composed this soundtrack too. Really. Um, you know, it's got that little twangy blues. Um, basically, the music that they play, the score, is like what you would envision these Slayers listen to on their free time. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> I, I was telling you, I was like, so oh good. man, why didn't they put like some of like uh, Pantera or Slayer on this? I think that uh, that's called That's called the movie uh, Ghost of Mars, which is also Carpenter, and that has not nearly aged as well. And I think it's because they put that cheesy... He tried that. He put this cheesy new metal through the whole thing, and it just kills the entire vibe of the film. I think had that been scored a little differently, um, that would 
probably. Do you think if he if he would have scored it with his with his signature stuff, it would have been great or no? Uh, I don't think it would have been great, but it might have been a little better. A little passive, more <laughs> passive, you know? Yeah. We had a Neil metal. It's a kind of like but Dracula like and it, um, Queen of the Dam kind of thing. I feel like that, that metal that he, they used kind of fit, though, that, that movie because of, like, you know, the way... That it was the time. They, the way they looked. Yeah. Like, indus- it was going for that industrial, like, yeah, we're so... We're in the now. We know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. But now it's just, oh... I don't know. I feel like that this movie is Ghosts on Mars done right, in a way, if that I makes sense, that. sense. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of the same aesthetic. It's got the weird colors, and um, it's just more... Uh, maybe, be- maybe a better cast. Not that I have anything um, against uh, Ice Cube and Natasha... Oh, Hen- about the Cube. N- Natasha Henstridge. <laughs> I, don't, I would never do that, you know. Don't hate on Cube, bro. I mean, no. <laughs> um, what else? What I gotta else? say, I'm with uh, Diego on. Uh, I mean, you you said you've seen this movie or like parts of it as a mm. kid. I had never heard of this movie ever. No, no, really. <laughs> and like, when you said, "Oh, like like vampires," I was like, "Oh, okay." Let me like, I've never heard of this movie. Uh-huh. And then when I looked it up, I was like, "Okay, cool." Like 96, 96 right? Ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eight. Okay, cool. I think I know what I'm getting into. I, I can still remember them bringing, my grandparents bringing it home and, and watching it for the first time. For whatever reason, they are, I guess, older people love this movie because they fell in love with it. And uh, they're like, you gotta watch this. And I, and I thought it was so, I thought it was really cool that I that they even let me watch it because yeah. it seems like something, when you're watching it as a kid, you're like, oh, I shouldn't be watching this, yeah. but I'm not gonna stop watching this. Yeah, but I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell them no. You know, um, but yeah, I think I think it's it's super funny um, that uh, our or the older generation kind of liked this more <laughs> at the time than us. But uh, that's why we get to appreciate it now that we're older. For sure. Um, I wanted to say that I really wish, like, as far as cons in the movie. Um, I would have liked to see more character development for the crew before they murdered them. Uh, yes. yes. They were, yes. You get like five minutes of screen time. Not even yeah. that. Yeah. Basically, they used the first... Um, they attack the nest and then they're in the hotel. Yeah. They, they, attack the, the they, they attack the nest and I feel like the nest is them attempting to be like, these are these guys, care about them. They're about to die. Yeah. But none of them get enough to do inside with the vampires. Um, I for you to get it. The only guy that you kind of feel for is the the priest. Yeah. Because you, I mean, you get some dialogue between him and Jack in the beginning when they're, you know, getting ready and armored up basically to go into the nest. And then more dialogue in the uh, the hotel mm-hmm. when they talk for another thirty seconds or a minute or whatever. So you're like, okay, this guy's cool, yeah, and then like, oh, yeah, they, and then you feel his death. His death is, <laughs> might yeah, be yeah. the worst, besides yeah. Boone's being ripped apart. Yeah. Um, that's the next one with the shotgun blast to the uh, boom. Like the dome. I, I think I would have been. I think I would have been more okay with this movie if it would have continued. Like. Uh, uh, Kind of kill off most of the crew here and there and stuff like, like slowly, that. Like slowly, like a slow, crew. like a slow um, minimizing the crew and stuff. I think that would have worked perfectly more than and and this is like um, these are two things that I I thought to me watching this I was like oh my god why why I wanted like that crew and also the ending where he's like just punches the the wood and he starts burning. I was like oh. Like that that's it? The ending was pretty quick. Like I was like, that's it? Like I wanted a little bit more fight. Like a little bit more fight. It would have been fine, like oh like like I don't know. But uh, Well, for for me, for what it's worth, I think that it's all it would all was a setup. Like um uh, Valak being the strongest vampire there is mm-hmm. could have killed um uh, Jack at any time. Yeah, it was all a ploy because he needed his bl- his blood. You know the those uh, the pure the blood, of, blood. Of, yeah of a, of a slayer. 
for to basically continue his reverse exorcism mm-hmm. or whatever, right? And um, and so the ending the fight, I feel like his only um, power what would be the sunlight. The sun, yeah. You know, it's.